there we go. I've got all four pads um, installed, um, nice and neat, and I'm now ready to install them back on the roof as soon as I've cleaned out the gutters and bits and pieces on the uh, on the cooler unit on the roof. So uh, once I've done that, I'll give you a report on how well it runs. This is um, a part which is designed to take water um, from the pump, pump and spread it across the pads evenly. Um, you can see all the little grooves um, down here where the water flows. comes out of this pipe and then flows down the grooves. Um, I pulled this one off um, because it had a crack um, just, uh, just here. Um, and I um, managed to fix it just with a couple of drops of super glue um, and also the hose fitting uh, on the back had snapped off as well and you can see the white around the bottom where I've super glued it um, seemed to work pretty well um, they're not terribly expensive to replace but I just don't want to have to drive back into town um, to, to buy another one um, I don't know what they're worth but probably only 15 or 20 dollars or something but um, and all the parts are available but it's just nice to um, to be able to fix it and get the thing running now and um, this should work fine so um, I've also given this a clean up with a brush um, and I'll do the other um, three up on the roof I'll take the brush up with me and sit on the roof when it's a bit cooler and I'm not burning my backside okay we'll talk to you a bit later bye and um, the other thing that you need to do is adjust all the vents if the place has been locked up for a while uh, you'll probably find all the vents have been shut off for winter to stop the hot air escaping out the roof cavity. So I've set up the ladder and I've been adjusting the roof uh, vents, the ceiling vents, and uh, look who decided to climb up the ladder and help me. Yes, it's Aladdin. He's a big help. Aladdin, you going to say hello to everybody? Aladdin? Hey. Oi, Aladdin. You going to say hello or are you just going to rub yourself all over the ladder? It's a long way up. Don't fall. I can't afford the vet bills. Here he comes. Back down. Come on, Aladdin. Come on. Danny, come. Quick. You're very good at climbing up. That was very fast. Getting back down might not be so easy. Hey, how are you going to get down? How are you going to get down now? Hmm? Or do I have to feed you up there? Rat bag. Rat bag. You gonna adjust that vent for me? So uh, there's the unit on the roof with all the new pads installed. Um, it's running at the moment. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, it's reasonably quiet. Um, I think I might need to replace the bearings um, and the fan at some stage. I think the kit's about $100 to replace the bearings, so um, but that should last for probably 10 years, I, I guess. Um, this, this one's probably been up there for that long, so I'm sure it hasn't had anything done to it in that time. So uh, that'll be the next project, and I'll post a, an update to this video then. Um, it's all running well, and I'll show you some results uh, in the next um, chapter. Cheers, bye. Well, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but um, the temperature out the m outside at the moment in the shade and the veranda with a nice breeze blowing through is 37.7 degrees Celsius and climbing uh, at 20% humidity um, and it's 2.38 in the afternoon. So it's probably past its worst. Um, uh, I would say maybe it got up to 38, 39 today at some stage, um, but at the moment 238 
uh, in the afternoon and it's 37, oh, it's just gone up 37.8 degrees Celsius and climbing. So it might be about 38 at the moment um, by the time it, it equalises and 20% humidity. So um, I'll take this inside now and we'll just see what, uh, what the difference the evaporative cool is making. Well this is um, uh, the temperature inside. Um, it takes quite a while for this temperature um, gauge to drop um, and it's been dropping ever since I bought it in. As you can see it's um, 3.30, 3.29 in the afternoon um, and inside the house is 52% humidity and it's 27.7 degrees. Um, this is in what will be the office but what is currently my bedroom and that used to be the hottest room in the house um, and it would quite often be as hot in here as it was outside um, sometimes even hotter because there's no insulation in the ceiling um, so there's quite a big difference there um, about um, about 10 degrees difference between inside the house and outside the house which I think is a pretty good result um, and uh, yeah the evaporative cooler is working really well um, uses very little electricity because uh, it's basically just a big fan and a water pump um, and and that's it, it uses a bit of water um, I've got plenty of that in the tank so um, we're really really happy with the, with the result and um, I recommend if you've got one of these things on the roof and it's not being used um, get into it um, go and buy some new pads and, and get it going um, they're not expensive to get going all the parts are pretty cheap they're all red readily available and uh, it's well worth it you'll save yourself power and also make it a lot more comfortable inside the house now just so um, you don't think that maybe the temperatures just dropped outside and hence it's dropped inside as well um, I'm just taking a quick video um, of the inside temperature before I take the uh, thermometer back outside. So it's 347 um, in the afternoon and it's 27.6 degrees and falling inside and 54% humidity. I'll um, and now I'll take this back out, the thermometer back outside, and take another video in half an hour once it's um, back up to temperature. Hi again. Um, as you can see, it's now 10 to 5 at night, um, and uh, humidity is still 20 degrees, and uh, temperature is 37.3 degrees. Um, and climbing it looks like uh, according to the little image there so um, as you can see it hasn't really changed much um, all day and the temperature inside side is um, still nice and cool uh, at around about 27 degrees so um, really really happy with the results okay see ya